best elements within us can spread light and virtue. And I know ponies who represent them all. Strength, bravery, healing, beauty, hope, and sorcery. Okay, Hasbro, that was a good try. Cast out and alone, this power-mad pony turned to darkness to satisfy his thirst. Transformed into a pony of shadows, he returned for revenge. All this time, Snails was a vessel of Xehanort. I've always wondered what happened to Star Swirl. This is quite a discovery, Sunburst. So, it's genuine? You can verify that this journal really belonged to Star Swirl the Bearded? Indeed. Yeah, totally. Here's where Celestia wrote Luna is gay in the corner. What is it? <sighs> Nothing. I mean, Star Swirl was a genius, obviously. But forget old Ponish. There's parts where his horn writing is like another language. Well, of course. Before he grew the beard, his name was Star Swirl the Swirly Writing Hand. I suppose it was a long shot. Cheer up, Twilight. Finding a whole set of ancient ruins is pretty impressive. Or maybe you could write a paper on it. I guess I hoped we'd get here and the mystery would just magically be explained. Uh, Twilight? <gasps> oh, come on! I wouldn't say the mystery's solved. Star Swirl's spell was one of the most powerful feats of magic in all of history. It'll take years of study before we fully understand it. I think I understand Star Swirl's spell! Or just sheer bullheaded stubbornness. I don't know. Opening portals between worlds didn't work out well for me. <laughs> Are you sure it's safe? First of all, you opened portals through time. And second of all, Star Swirl wrote the spell you used to do it. If he'd been here, he could have stopped it. And also there's a portal in the other room that we go through all the time. This place has been in my family for generations. And I'm not about to let some whippersnapper take the last good piece of it! Time-wise, ponies came from far and wide to see these gardens. But that flower's the only worthwhile thing left! How does anyone else manage to do anything without rarity? Hey! That's an ancient pony artifact! Close off my gorge board! I found it in the desert, and finders keepers! It isn't yours! Huh, it sure looks like mine, but I might consider racing you for it. Each of these trials could have been an episode on their own. I mean, don't get me wrong, it would have sucked, but it could have been. Pinky, don't put that in your mouth. I'm sure Star Swirl and the Pillars did the best they could back then. But magic has come a long way, mostly because of the work they did. That's true. And you did get your wings from finishing one of Star Swirl's spells. Exactly. But then I messed with one and nearly destroyed the universe, so... Starlight, these two aren't complete fuck-ups at everything they do like you are. Will you just sulk quietly in the corner? You cannot bring us back. But I did! I brought all the pillars back! You cannot bring only the pillars back! <laughs> oh no, it's another villain! I wonder how you're gonna get out of this! Oh that's right, we do this every fucking season. my writings. Surely you have some other plan. No, I just wanted to save you. Twilight, your fangirling has doomed us all. Lucky for her, she's not alone. Know this, fiend. We will not rest until we find a way to return you to limbo. Why don't you just kill him? One and a half unicorns were able to spell lock him, just everyone starts shooting. Then my spell worked. Before it was meddled with, 
and the realm has been at peace for a millennia. Help! We did have to save everybody from Nightmare Moon and Discord and Chrysalis and King Sombra and Lord T-Rex, and there was that one time when Starlight traveled through time and almost destroyed life as we know it. But that's all in the past. So there's been peace from that one guy, but Equestria's stability is still like a house of cards in a tornado. They are reflections of our own elements of hope, strength, beauty, bravery, healing, and sorcery. This old and very practiced wizard cannot stand being around Twilight. I wrote a book like this once. They'd be gone forever? Star Swirl, I don't think the tree can survive without the elements. If it dies, Equestria will suffer. If the Pony of Shadows has his way, your land will not exist. So, unless you have a better idea... I do. Go find the Pony of Shadows and shoot him. Also, where the hell are Celestia and Luna? The pillars don't have to leave Equestria. Even though we'll lose the elements, we'll have the ponies that created them, and the Pony of Shadows will be banished for good! That's great. But I was thinking of another way that maybe doesn't involve banishing at all? Is Starlight suggesting that we forgive the Pony of Shadows, or that we kill him? Please be the latter. If you do this shit again, I swear to fucking God. But we still have no idea where to find the villain. Maybe we should try there? That is a horrible plot contrivance. The writers are abusing the map. Uh, I know I'm not as experienced as all of you, but is banishment really the only option? I mean, it's been a long time. Maybe the Pony of Shadows is ready to talk? Oh no. But we could try. Starlight, I'm sure Starswirl and the others did try. The Pony of Shadows was not interested in reconciliation. Once a villain, always a villain. Oh no. <laughs> Stygian was a pony like the rest of us, though more scholar than hero. He recognized our emerging world would need champions to defend it. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> That's fucking weak. Don't try and build up suspense by making your best work into a Looney Tune short. When the map called you six to my village, it was for a friendship problem. Are you sure this is different? I... Stygian wants to destroy all that is good in this world. There's no way to befriend a pony like that. I guess I'm lucky your idol wasn't around when you decided to be my friend. I might have been banished to Limbo too. Oh, don't be silly, Starlight. You being banished to Limbo would have been a good idea. We did what we had to do. You tried to steal our powers for yourself. No, it was you who was selfish. Now, you will pay! Are you still sure this isn't a friggin' problem? Shut up! Star Swirl says you betrayed them. You wanted their magic. No, I wanted their respect. I brought them together. I planned strategy and I read all I could about the beasts we faced. But I didn't have magic or strength. So no pony ever noticed me. Today on My Little Pony, Sokka is sad. Today on My Little Pony, Extreme Tug of War. Thank you, Swirl Star. Uh, Star Swirl. Ahem. <clears throat> so, apparently a conversation can save Equestria? Now you must really shut the fuck up now, please. Shut the fuck up. 